Hey everyone, once again the Star is Another Thoughts video, but once again, since I'm now on the sixth and final episode of this event series, what happens in Reno stays in Reno, this will now mean be my first reading thoughts on the Paramount Plus event series Knuckles, based on Sonic the Hedgehog carry the same name, it acts as something of a bridge between like the second movie and the upcoming main third film this Christmas, so... Let's begin. So, picking up roughly where the events of the second movie left off, off it sees multiple but not all of the cast of that film returning this time around. The main figures who we're going to focus on are of course Knuckles himself, or Edward Elba, and, and police deputy Wade Whipple, who is played by, if you will bear with me here, 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 Adam Pally, apprising his role from the movie, as he ends up training in Wade for a bowling tournament in Nevada that crossed paths with his estranged father, Pete, the pistol, played by Carrie Elways, his rogue agents, Hence, will it be a Mason, played by Ellie Taylor and Kid Cudi, respectively, and an enigmatic figure known only by his title, The Buyer, played by Rory McCann. All, as you can imagine, does not go smoothly. Hey. And it has a similar setup to the up to the movies where it's basically like a like, like an adventuring buddy a story with a science fiction infusion towards it it's and as has been posited by many others including myself something like an unofficial live action version of sonic x main which i'm currently be watching the subs online as well still so yeah Pretty fun. While there are dark moments, admittedly, the show is first and foremost an action comedy and builds upon the the idea established by the movies, albeit on a more direct scale, with and also elements are gonna be important to Sonic Sonic 3 he later this year. I especially like not only how they have ele elements that appeal to who people like me who old men would say something consoles to younger fans buying the newer games as well as non-gaming parents and grandparents and people like that I mean since there is definitely a quite the he a lot of stuff going on there. Not only I'm enjoying Easter egg to games, but also the soundtrack choices, the theme song for the Echidna Warrior is what else? How it's Warrior by Scandal, of course. And of course there's obvious ones like the gold play at the end of his obstacle course. But even other ones, ones kind of of call back to games I haven't seen officially release in ages, but may or may not be getting remade on Unreal Engine 5, so that intrigues me. As for any potential changing hands, well not by the first time in my lifetime I've seen it happen with Paramount, I mean, if I had to guess as who would, would win the bidding war, it will likely be Skydance and not Sony, because at least that person makes more sense to me based on they have history together and stuff like their other franchises. I mean, anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to be watching Sonic 2 yet again this weekend on Nick, and I will see you all again very soon with my another Pokemon Dreams vlog, maybe two. Take care, everyone. Hmm.